Many years passed since the winds of life blew me into the design industry. I started graphic design when I was 15 and luckily I got my very first laptop. As I then, I had very little knowledge on how to get clients and about design business. During this time, all I did was to invest money, time and sleepless nights to improve my design skills. In this process, Hope and I came up with an idea to go out and search for a job in a design agency, printing press or any business center. Hope is my childhood friend and our skill set about graphic design was very low as at then. Luckily for us, we got employed in a printing press. Even with our beginner skills, we did believe that we will get better with time. The printing press was a stepping stone for me. I took the opportunity as a privilege and improved my skills more on print designs and I even understood more on how the printing industry works. At this level, I was set to launch myself and show off my skills to the whole world. I did all this by myself with no coach and no mentor. But then there is one spectacular thing about my story which whenever I think of it, I nod my head with the sense that yes, I did the right thing. When I started freelance graphic design, I deleted the thought of having clients. All I worked for was to make myself valuable and that is by improving my skills. In our present time, I see a lot of beginners struggling to get clients instead of making their self valuable first. I understood that clients don't come to you for you but they come because of the value you deliver. So I built a formula for myself and I'm going to show you. Here is the formula I built for myself. Value plus marketing equals to discovery. Discovery plus consistency equals to clients and clients plus more value equals to high paying clients. Honestly, there are lots of videos on YouTube that talks about how to get clients and there are cool, but I'm sharing my experience and how it worked for me. I have used this formula over the years and it's still working for me. So the idea I'm sharing in this video is not just some information I saw somewhere or someone told me or I saw how someone did it and I tried it. Everything I'm sharing is all what I did and it worked for me. It may or may not work for you and you may even disagree with my ideas. I don't know but it worked for me. Take this line again. No client will come to you because of your looks, handsomeness or beauty but clients will find you even if you are in a pit because you are able to solve their problems. So if you do a real self check, you will discover that the only thing that is stopping you from getting clients is you. Discipline yourself and follow the 5 tips I'm going to share to you in this video and you will see clients pouring into your DM daily. The very first tip I'll be talking about is make yourself valuable. This is the first thing you will do even before you launch yourself to the world. This is not about posting your first design online and campaigning for clients. No doubt clients may come but they will see you as some kind of cheap designer and coming to you they feel they want to help you. High paying clients will not even cross your lane because they feel your skill set is not enough to solve their problem. Opportunity comes but you have to be prepared for it. When you first launch yourself, a lot of clients will come and if they find out your skill set is not enough to solve their problem, you will lose clients instead of gaining clients. Don't touch any client project yet until you are prepared to do so. Make your skills more valuable and you will see exponential growth in your client list. So the reason why it seems like I get patronized by so many clients is not because I upload every single design I do on my pages, it's because I have learned to close every project in good terms with every single client I get. I ensure I solve their problems by making valuable designs and the clients are satisfied. And by doing this, he or she refers me to more clients and more clients refers me to more more clients and that is how I keep expanding my client's network. It's not a motivational video but I'm telling you the real fact. So when you make yourself valuable, clients trust your services and recommends you to others. This takes us back to our formula, value plus marketing equals to discovery. So that was the longest tip, others are going to be very very short. Let's talk about the marketing aspect which makes up number 2 in my list and that is leverage social media. So you will always see a lot of content creators telling you to use Fiverr, Upwork or Freelancer 
to get clients online but honestly i don't know how it works and i'm not even sure it works in my own part of the world i've used social media to market my skill and that's how it goes till you land a potential client one day you may ask how do i upload designs when i don't even have one to do so you can start with what i call passion projects it's a project you do for fun not by a client but an idea you pick up somewhere and modified by you you can do that with any social media platform you choose either facebook instagram or pinterest whichever one works for you just do it consistently you don't have to do it every day but you can make it twice a week some designers do mistake by posting jobs and maybe just tagging it flyer design i recommend you write full description about the project and end it by letting your audience know that you are always open for business anytime you can as well provide your contact details to make it easy for the clients to reach out to you. For me, I do that with my email instead of my phone number. So put your designs out there and do it consistently. This takes us to the next tip which is consistency. If you look at our formula again, you see that discovery plus consistency equals to clients. When people start seeing you, you should create this impression in their minds that you are always showing up every time. This makes them believe that you are in for real business. They feel very free to give you projects to work on knowing fully well that you are serious with your business. Tip number four, build an audience. A famous saying says it's not about what you know but who you know. You will need an audience to share your designs with and get feedback from them. Those people that forms your audience may in turn become your clients and may even recommend you to more clients. So build an audience and demonstrate your skills to them. And when you are doing that, you can match it with an active portfolio. So whoever clicks on your profile, will see what exactly you do. Last but not the least, add more value. By adding more value, I mean keep on learning new things and improve your skills. When clients see that you are adding more value, they don't mind paying high rates. So far, you solve their problems. Clients who know your worth will likely recommend you to high paying clients. So when you add more value, clients won't bother about how much you charge. They will be happy for the fact that you are their problem solver. At the end of the day, it's not about whether you are a Photoshop guru or Corel draw master. I don't care the software you use, it's about the value you bring. These 5 tips I just shared is not something that works with a twinkle of an eye. It may take a very long time to achieve the success you need. Just be sure you don't give up. If you have any tip on how to get clients, you can let us know down in the comments so others can learn from you and I can learn from you too. Thanks so much for watching and if you like to learn more graphic design tips about business, Click on this playlist and keep watching. Thanks so much and I will see you in the next video. Peace.